Tonight, tens of millions of people in the West are bracing for another wave of severe storms. Parts of the Bay Area got eight inches of rain in recent days and up to four more inches are expected Sunday into Tuesday. Wildfire burn areas could see mudslides. Huge waves will pound the coast of the Pacific Northwest and the Sierra could get up to seven feet of snow. All right, tonight, new signs that congressional Democrats may be nearing agreement on President Biden's Build Back Better plan. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says they are 90 percent of the way there, and she hopes to hold a vote next week. But a key part of the plan is universal pre-kindergarten. Our CBS News poll shows two-thirds of Americans support federal funding for it. But it comes with a big price tag. Democrats originally set aside $450 billion for pre-K and child care subsidies, but supporters claim the payoff would be invaluable. Here's CBS's Nancy Cordes. Four-year-old Dahlia scoots to school in downtown D.C. every day. Super fast. Joining 75 other kids at a brand new early learning center that's just for three and four-year-olds. How much do families pay to send their kids here? Absolutely zero. <laughs> we are a public school. Amelia Hunt is the principal at Thaddeus Stevens. Washington, D.C. has it. one of the most robust pre-K uh -huh. programs in the country. 85 to 90 percent of brain development occurs by the time children are age five. They are taking in so much information. Research shows that kids who get even one year of pre-K are more likely to graduate from high school and go to college. Kids are more likely to enroll in honors courses. One study co-authored by Georgetown's Bill Gormley found that pre-K kids in Tulsa did better years later on math tests. The effects are stronger for disadvantaged children, and the effects are somewhat stronger for students of color. And yet just eight states and D.C. offer universal or near-universal pre-K. Under the president's Build Back Better plan, the federal government would pay the startup costs for every state to offer pre-K-3 and pre-K-4. I think that is absolutely phenomenal. This is not politics for me at all. It is just about doing what is best for kids. It's one of the few proposals that hasn't yet been whittled down as the party seeks a compromise on a larger $2 trillion social spending plan. Even moderate holdouts see pre-K as an economic investment in children and their parents, like Dahlia's mom, Marissa. How much do you think you'd be paying if you couldn't send her to pre-K for free? Anywhere between $1,600 to $2,000 a month. Experts estimate that the plan could lead to cheaper and better care for more than 8 million U.S. children. And so there's a lot riding on negotiations that are taking place just one mile away. Nancy Cordes, CBS News, Washington.